Hello and welcome back everybody to another 10 Shadow video. Today we are in lesson number eight in this IFR series by FS Academy. This lesson is ILS approaches and this is something I'm a little more familiar with in the big Boeing aircraft. Um, never done this in a little Cessna before, so let's see how this goes. Landing system ILS is the most common approach at main airports. Where the VOR and NDB approaches had only lateral guidance, an ILS combines both lateral and vertical guidance. Laterally we're guided by the localizer and vertically by the glide slope. Keeping both the localizer and glide slope centered will take us to the runway. The nearer we get, the more sensitive the indications will become. We're currently intercepting a 031 course to Southampton VOR. 031 will be the procedure outbound leg. The Sierra Alpha Mike VOR is tuned in NAV 1. The ILS is tuned in the NAV 1 standby. Just before the base turn, we'll press the swap button at the top left of the PFD to swap between the VOR and the ILS, which will auto set the inbound course. I'll let you know when to do this. Intercept the 031 course to Southampton at 3,000 feet. All right, trying to get this aircraft stable from being given to me in a really horrible state as usual. I think we're all right. We got a lot of nasty weather up here, so I have a feeling we'll be in the soup in a little bit. Get a little more power. All right, so let's get uh, something on here for our DME. Okay, there we go. So according to the chart, once we're, we kind of got to get 7.2 from the BOR before we make our turn. So I should start losing the needle here as we're getting really close to the airport. And the wind is kind of pushing me a little bit. Mm, nasty looking day outside. Southampton VOR on the radial 031 until 7.2 DME. Start descending towards 1,800 feet. All right. Lost the uh, needle. Click this. This should flip it around. Yep. Hear the rain. Yep, there's the rain. Here is 7.2 DME. Make a left turn to intercept the localizer. Remain above 1,800 feet until glide slope interception. You can click now at the top left of the PFD to swap the NAV1 frequency from the VOR to the ILS. All right, well, there we go. Goal I got Alpha it. Charlie, when established on the localizer, descend on the glide path. So we're making our turn to 200. And it switched to localizer one. All right, there we go. 1800, lift up. Want to keep that? Nope, we're not. A little more speed. 
All right, there we go. All right, so we should start going down in about two miles. Now ensure a smooth interception of both the localizer and the glide slope. We'll leave 1,800 feet around 5.2 DME on a 3.1 degree glide. The okay. wind is around 10 knots from the right. All right, here we go. Start slowing down. It's four miles to go. You should be around 1,410 feet on the glide path. And that I am, but the localizer, I mean, I thankfully localizer's coming in now. Okay. Scaring me a little bit. This is never seen it like this before. Ew. Let's go first notch of flaps. can't see anything all right Passing there we go three miles we're aiming for 1080 feet okay glide path looks good I cannot see the runway on another notch of flaps okay definitely not on the localizer so oh i can see the runway now thank well no i could have second ago. to go 750 feet the decision altitude for the ils approach is 244 feet if you're not visual by then, you must perform a missed approach. Golf Alpha Charlie cleared to land, runway 20, wind 270 at 10. All right, so we are... Okay, I have a visual. Going full flaps. I completely did not do that one right. Could not get on the glide path. Or the uh, localizer. Not good at all. Bit high. Hundred feet to go before the decision altitude. Start looking for the approach lights. I see him. Landing. on runway two zero. Come to a full stop after landing. All right, so we are going to land the sky. We are down. That was horrible. And that's the lesson on ILS approaches complete. Press escape to exit. All right, folks, this is how you don't do an ILS approach in a Cessna 172. See you for the next one.